Hey everyone, Uncle Dean here. Just let you know, I'm mean, coming live here from Jonesboro, Tennessee, our new residence. Uh, today's on the Funkle episode. We're gonna go check down the store downtown. Uh, check out a place called Corner Cup Cafe. And also a little bit downtown. I filmed it over a couple of days. Uh, so let's go check out some sites a little quick here in Jonesboro. This is the view that I get to leave work. As you can see, off in the distance, let me see if I can zoom in. A lot of cows. This is very much cattle country. Uh, so if you're looking pretty much, it was like where the place the, the Angus beef comes from. Part of it's right here. We're here on Fox Street, it's off of Main Street here in downtown, and right up the road uh, is so far the Tennessee Distillery. Definitely gonna check out one of the sponsors. A lot of churches. We got Paul's Pens, Odds and Ends. It looks like a lot of handcraft items in here. Uh, it's currently closed right now. A lot of places here in downtown are closed on Sunday. And then we got the Curiosity Shop. Looks like you got some. Home decor. And then you got crazy crepes. Uh, this opens up Wednesday. This is off her clothes for. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Sunday, Sunday through Tuesday. And then we have an escape game, which looks like an escape room. There's Gretchen. <laughs> it's cold. That escape place? Ah. I just haven't noticed. Bridges over here. To goes. The decor. Oh, here's uh, this leads into another gift shop. It's kind of closed right now. Uh, Gretchen, she got a ham, egg, and cheese on a biscuit. Looks really good. I was, I, I really did not know that it was just a sandwich or you can get it without. That's really good. Good flavor. Love the tomato. Everything to mix to crush. Really good. And for my beverage, I got a blueberry cobbler latte. Oh my god. <laughs> I am amazed by this. This is so good. It's okay if I try. Did you want to try? Man, I'm regretting this. I kind of wanted that sandwich. Uh, oh, yeah. That's good. 
Really good flavor. The hometown, the homemade flavors, everything in this. So good. And what kind of drink did you get? Irish cream latte. It's good. This is a nice, cozy spot. I love the home vibe that this place has. The decor, the flavors, everything. I'm going to put the definitely link in the description here at the Corner Cup Cafe. Really good. So glad we finally came and be able to do this. It's now Monday. Uh, the day that we went, uh, we went on yesterday, Sunday. Uh, well, obviously, it's, <laughs> it was Monday. I uh, hit Corner Cup. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do much uh, filming downtown and uh, here in historic Jonesboro. Uh, mainly because so far right now, it's a lot of places that are closed on Sundays. There are some shops that are open on Mondays. Uh, but they open around like 11 to 12, which is around now. And I don't have to go into work till about 5. So I just want to actually go come down here while uh, some things are open. It's a little bit more livelier than yesterday. And there's also a little bit more better temperature. And it's kind of interesting with the we're going from Florida to Tennessee. Uh, there are days where it's like 50 degrees out. Figuring that it's like, oh, let me put on some pants. Uh, get some dress for cold weather. And as soon as I step out, I'm like... Oh no, this feels like 70 degrees in Florida. It's just so weird and uh, odd coming from more humid uh, temperature uh, like Florida. I guess I soaked up a lot in the 20, 23 plus years that I've lived there in Florida. So uh, enough about that. Let's go check this town. Got the Jonesboro Farmer's Market. Seems like all local stuff. Local vinegars, rubs. Local coffee rub. Some pasta. Oil red stew. I am despacho. Etouffee. Spinach, artichoke, southwest chicken, a lot of stuff. Homemade, looks like homemade here. We got some vegan options. Slap farms. I'll let you know what farms that you got it from. It was like Great Court, South Carolina. Jonesville. Sausage. All right. I Connor's Foster's butter. Jams. All right. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying all right quite a bit. I'm just like amazed by all this. Pray for the farm to your table. Unhappy possum princess. <laughs> Art. Okay. Gonna get in some Waynesville soda jerks, Concord grape soda. The grape, not too overpowering. Definitely get this good soda flavor. Um, and the, the bubbles. Ooh, they tickle my nose. I would definitely get this again. Here we got the map. And dealing about it, you got shopping, eats, place to stay, because they do actually have some bed and breakfasts, experiences, because they have a whole bunch of tours. And let's see, where are we? Trying to find us. This 
So here we are. We are right here. All right, let's. Got a church, Central Christian Church. And here we are is by the courthouse. This is where you also wanted to switch over your tags and license plates for your car. And coming up ahead, we have one of the bed and breakfast areas. You got the your historic Eureka Inn. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, sorry. No, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, here's our look at the Eureka Inn. You have to come here one time, check it out, see how the say is, even though we live right down the road. But just to see. Never actually stayed in really in a bed and breakfast. Uh, just to see what it is. An experience in one of the oldest town here in Tennessee. Another bed and breakfast. So I looked at some of the places here. I, I really would love to try out their breakfast, but... You gotta be staying there. Here is the Jackson Theater. It looks like it's under renovation, uh, but I do believe that they're rebuilding it because it looks set to actually open sometime, maybe this summer. They got some plays set up. Uh, definitely like to check out some local theater. Uh, I'm really surprised living, uh, moving here, reading as like how much, a lot of stuff they have to the arts and theater. Uh, once it's open, and definitely want to check it out. Here's a Jonesboro Presbyterian Church, and I thought Florida was flooded with churches. But here, they're not no plazas and all that like how they have in Florida. They go for the authentic church look. And I don't know why I'm just picturing preacher from the a &E series, Preachers to Come Running Out for some reason. I do not know why. Hey everyone, that's gonna be it for this part. I did have definitely got a lot of footage. So I'm gonna make this up into two parts. I didn't want this video to go a little bit too long. Uh, the Corner Cup Cafe, awesome. Love the quaint little vibe, home vibe it gave. And overall, the food and the beverages top notch that blueberry cobbler latte i swear to god it felt like they just blended a blueberry cobbler and served it to me uh so tasteful gretchen's irish cream really good her biscuit sandwich was amazing the flavors of that biscuit the butter the dough the taste everything and the texture it was so good i was like even though I did enjoy my quiche, I really wish I would have gotten what Gretchen got because that was just so delicious. And that farmer's market, I love the vibe. I love the feel of it. And I love the fact that it's also supporting a lot of the local farms that's in the surrounding state areas, as in Virginia and also North Carolina. Because here in Jonesboro, Tennessee, and it's a northeastern part of Tennessee, it's very close to those other states. Uh, so this actually helps help out the farmers. Also, it supports uh, supports them, keeps them afloat. And also you get farm to your table food, whether it be meats, produce, bread, pasta, already made dishes and all that stuff. I was like, definitely check it out because I know I am if you're ever going to be visiting here in Jonesboro. Uh, in my next video, it's going to show a little more dealing about uh, the storytelling part aspect of it. Uh, show the Mary B. Martin uh, Storyteller Hall. Uh, there was an antique shop, some other shops that are in there. That's going to be in the next video. Thank you so much. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. And again, I definitely do apologize. I'm getting this video out a little bit late. And please, if you please if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more content? Please subscribe. And please, also, everyone, stay healthy, stay happy, and never, ever lose that smile. Love the way it looks. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.